In this chapter, we're going to discuss how to tell a video story. It's vitally important to, first of all, choose a good subject to tell your story. From personal experience, I know the UNDP has a lot of good stories to tell. We deal with so many interesting subjects like democratic governance and rule of law and women empowerment and poverty reduction. In all these stories, it's very important to try and keep the human element in it. It can either be a beneficiary of UNDP's help or it can be a UNDP staff member showing us the impact that UNDP has on the ground. I'm now going to give you an example of how to build a story. Unfortunately, we don't have any development work here in New York, but instead we'll be talking to Cristina Lonegro, who is the spokesperson for the administrator, and see what she does for UNDP every day. So as you're like the subject matter of our story today, can you, uh, can you sh walk us through how, what you do for, for UNDP? So we have a big story happening today. Uh, the administrator of UNDP is resigning. In filming a video story, it's extremely important to have as much action as possible. We here today are filming inside an office, but I discourage you from doing that in the field. Showing what people actually do, be it cooking, planting, walking to school or fetching water is very interesting to the camera. We're going to follow Christina as she goes about her job. Christina needs to interact with different parts of the organization in order to get the information she needs to do her job. While we're filming the action, it's important to get as much variety of frames as possible. We'll get a medium, a close up, and a long shot. We'll also use different angles to show the same action. Well, you'll be more or less concerned with the issue of global economics, particularly regarding developing countries and emerging economies. Okay, great. I don't want to take up too much of your time. I know it's a busy day. So thank you so much, Tege. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you later and I'll let you know uh, what you questions I get about this. <laughs> Excellent. You thank you. Right. We want to get as many action shots as possible. What I've been doing here is filming details of what Christina is working on. So I've filmed her hands typing and the screen. This is used later on for editing that we'll get onto later on in the course. One person's stories can tell a story of a whole community. If it's somebody who is involved in poverty reduction or women empowerment, that one person shows us what a larger community can do. Even though we might want to tell a much larger story, seeing that story from one person's point of view is much more interesting to the viewer. Here's an example where we use one woman's story in Nigeria to tell a larger story about UNDP's impact on women empowerment in the community. When my husband died, my children were very young. So I have to struggle along way for them to go to school. And to eat was very difficult. But I thank God now that is getting improved. For further examples, I encourage you to visit UNDP's YouTube website at www.youtube.com/UNDP.